reactions 1A and 1B are reactions between saturated sodium chloride solution and 0.1 molar silver nitrate and 0.1 molar lead nitrate. All three of these solutions are clear and colorless. When taking a saturated sodium chloride solution and reacting it with silver nitrate, it takes 1 to 2 drops before a precipitate forms. When reacting the sodium chloride with lead nitrate, It takes one, significantly more than one drop before precipitate forms and remains. The second reaction looks at the combination of silver nitrate solution and potassium chromate solution. In the reaction, we can take 10 drops of potassium chromate and react this with 10 drops of the silver nitrate. Notice the deep red color of the product of, of silver chromate. The third reaction looks at the reaction between clear and colorless barium chloride solution with the blue solution of copper sulfate. When the two react, a cloudy solution is formed indicating the presence of a precipitate. In this example, the precipitate is a white powder where the blue solution is still present. The fourth reaction is a reaction that occurs in the gas phase. By taking concentrated ammonia and concentrated hydrochloric acid, each of which in their pure form are a gas, and reacting them together in the atmosphere, you get the formation of a white solid in the air. The fifth reaction consists of adding a small amount of clear and colorless sodium hydroxide to the light blue solution of copper sulfate. When doing this, you can see the intensely blue colored precipitate that forms in the reaction. In the sixth reaction, we'll be mixing clear and colorless aqueous ammonia solution, NH3, also known as ammonium hydroxide, with the nickel-2 sulfate solution, which is green. When mixing the solution together, there will be a slight precipitate formation at first, 
upon which the solution becomes clear and is now a blue color. In the seventh reaction, you will be mixing colorless iron-3 nitrate solution with a small amount of concentrated hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid creates an intensely colored yellow solution with the iron nitrate. In the eighth and ninth reactions in the procedure, you're mixing lead nitrate and barium chloride with potassium chromate. Both lead nitrate and barium chloride solutions are clear and colorless. Upon addition of potassium chromate, Both solutions form a yellow precipitate. However, there is a stark contrast between the intensity of these yellow precipitates. The barium chromate precipitate is a much duller yellow color, while the lead chromate precipitate is intensely colored. The the tenth reaction looks at the complexing of lead and hydroxide ions. Clear and colorless lead nitrate is reacted with sodium hydroxide. Upon initial reaction, there is the formation of a white precipitate. In the second step, by continuing to add sodium hydroxide, the precipitate slowly dissolves and in the end results in a clear and colorless solution. The 11th reaction looks at the complexation reactions between silver and chloride ions and between silver and aqueous ammonia, NH3. To a saturated sodium chloride solution, upon addition of a small amount of silver ions, the precipitation reaction occurs as was seen in the first reaction. With the addition of ammonia, the precipitate dissolves until there is, you are left with a clear and colorless solution. In the last step of reaction 11, you are looking specifically at the reaction of silver ions with aqueous ammonia. The silver nitrate solution is a clear and colorless liquid, as is the ammonia solution. When the two are mixed together, there's a slight precipitation and then ending with a clear and colorless solution. The question is, in this reaction, does a chemical reaction take place? And what would be complexing with the silver? In the last reaction, number 12, you are looking at the different complexation steps with the copper ion. You are starting with a light blue copper sulfate solution. Upon addition of a small amount of ammonium hydroxide, you can see the formation of a darker blue precipitate.
with continued addition of the ammonium hydroxide, the hydroxide ions are being displaced by the aqueous ammonia NH3 ions, which cause the precipitate to dissolve and the formation of a dark blue clear solution. This reaction can be reversed by the adding of concentrated hydrochloric acid. A small amount of the hydrochloric acid brings the solution back to a light blue color. Further addition of hydrochloric acid will result in the solution changing from a blue color to a green color as the chloride ions are displacing everything in the reaction.